V stands for vitesse. This term is borrowed from the French. Vitesse, the French word for speed. Takeoff decision speed is represented by V1. This is the maximum speed during takeoff at which the pilot must take action, such as apply the brakes and reduce thrust, to stop the aeroplane within the accelerate stop distance in the event of an emergency. V1 also means the minimum speed during takeoff, following a failure of the critical engine of VEF, at which the pilot can continue the takeoff and achieve the required height above the ground within the takeoff distance. If an engine failure is detected after V1, the takeoff must be continued. This implies that the aircraft must be controllable on the ground. Therefore, V1 is always greater than VMCG. Takeoff safety speed is represented by V2. This is the minimum speed that needs to be maintained in the event of an engine failure after V1. Flight at V2 ensures that the minimum required climb gradient is achieved and that the aeroplane is controllable. V2 speed is always greater than VMCA. If one engine fails before reaching V2, then the initial climb is flown at V2. If thrust is lost at a speed between V2 and V2 plus 10, then that speed is maintained to ensure the most efficient climb speed. Minimum takeoff safety speed is represented by V2 MIN. This speed is usually 1.2 times the stall speed in the takeoff configuration. Design manoeuvring speed is represented by VA. This is the fastest safe speed for a sudden and full control deflection. This is also the speed for operating in turbulence or severe gusts. The aeroplane will stall before exceeding its design limit load factor in turbulent conditions. VA is usually determined at maximum landing weight and it decreases as weight decreases. Design speed for maximum gust intensity is represented by VB. This is the speed for maximum gust intensity and is the point where a gust of 66 feet per second will cause the aeroplane to stall. VB may not be higher than the speed at which a maximum gust will cause the aeroplane to exceed VA. Engine failure speed is represented by VEF. This is the speed at which the critical engine is assumed to fail during takeoff. This is the speed at which the critical engine fails during testing and may not be less than VMCG. Design flap speed is represented by VF. This is the maximum speed for flaps operation. This speed may be the same as VFE. Maximum flap extended speed is represented by VFE. On the airspeed indicator, the top of the white arc indicates this speed. This is the highest speed permissible with flaps in an extended position. Flap retract speed is represented by VFR. This is the minimum speed required for flap retraction after takeoff. Best glide speed is represented by VG. This is the speed at which the aeroplane will glide the maximum distance from a given altitude. This speed decreases as weight decreases. 
Maximum landing gear, extended speed, is represented by VLE. This is the maximum speed at which an aeroplane can be safely flown, with the landing gear extended down. Maximum landing gear operating speed is represented by VLO. This is the maximum speed at which the landing gear can be safely extended or retracted. Liftoff speed is represented by VLOF. This is the speed at which the aeroplane first becomes airborne. Maximum brake energy speed is represented by VMBE. This is the fastest speed an aeroplane can accelerate to during the takeoff run and still be able to stop by the means of brakes alone in the event of a rejected takeoff. Minimum control speed at takeoff climb is represented by VMCA. This is the minimum speed at which the aeroplane can be controlled with 5 degrees of bank angle in the event of critical engine failure and the other engine at takeoff power. This speed assumes that a flaps takeoff setting is selected and the gear is retracted. The rudder is used to compensate for the yaw moment caused by thrust asymmetry. This results in a side slip. To reduce the side slip, a slower speed can be selected if the aeroplane is banked to the side. The lower the speed, the greater the necessary bank angle. The speed that corresponds to a 5 degree bank angle is defined as VMCA. Minimum control speed with critical engine inoperative is represented by VMC. Similar to VMCA, this is the minimum speed at which the aeroplane can be controlled with a 5 degree bank angle in the event of critical engine failure and the other engine at takeoff power. Unlike VMCA, VMC has a different speed value depending on the aeroplane configuration, such as flap setting power setting, altitude, etc. Minimum control speed on or near the ground is represented by VMCG. This is the lowest speed the pilot has control of the aeroplane on the ground following a failure of the critical engine. Without the aid of the nose wheel, there must be enough rudder effectiveness to keep the aeroplane within 9.1 metres of runway centreline with the critical engine failed. Minimum unstick speed is represented by VMU. This is not an operational speed. This speed is established in flight testing only. VMU is determined by accelerating and pitching the aeroplane up to its maximum where the tail touches the runway during the takeoff run. The speed at which the aeroplane lifts off is VMU. Maximum tyre speed is represented by VMAX tyre. This is the fastest speed an aeroplane can accelerate to during the takeoff run without causing tread loss of a tyre. Never exceed speed is represented by VNE. This speed applies to piston-powered aeroplanes and is also known as the red line speed. At this speed, any turbulence can overstress the structure of the aeroplane. Rotation speed is represented by VR. At this speed, the rotation of the aircraft is initiated. The rotation speed ensures that in the event of an engine failure, liftoff is possible and V2 is reached by a minimum 
of 35 feet above ground level. VR must be such that the VLOF is greater than VMU. VR may not be less than V1 and 105% of VMC. Stall speed, or minimum steady flight speed at which the aeroplane is controllable, is represented by VS. This speed is a generic term and usually does not correspond to an actual speed. Stall speed in landing configuration is represented by VS0. On the airspeed indicator, the lower limit of the white arc indicates this speed. This is the stalling speed, or the minimum steady flight speed at which the aeroplane is controllable in landing configuration. The aeroplane's engines are at idle. Propellers are in low pitch. Full flaps are usually applied. Cow flaps are closed. The centre of gravity is at maximum forward limit and maximum gross landing weight. Stall speed, or minimum steady flight speed in a specific configuration, is represented by VS1. This speed is usually regarded as the clean stall speed. This means that gear and flaps are up. On the airspeed indicator, the lower limit of the green arc usually indicates this speed. A 1G stall speed at which the aeroplane can develop a lift force that is normal to the flight path and equal to its weight is represented by VS1G. This is the lowest speed at which the aeroplane can maintain 1G flight, which essentially means to maintain level flight. Reference stall speed is represented as VSR. While VS is defined as the stall speed at which the aeroplane is controllable, VSR may not be less than 1G stall speed. VSR is determined during testing and is the basis speed for establishing other speeds, such as the takeoff safety speed and the reference landing speed. VSR cannot be less than the speed a stick pusher activates if such a device is installed on the aeroplane. VSR is determined when the engines are idle. The aeroplane is trimmed and stabilised no lower than 13% above VSR and no higher than 30% above VSR. The pitch is adjusted to decrease the speed no more than one knot per second. Reference stall speed in a specific configuration is represented by VSR1. The specific configuration may be extended gear or extended flaps. Best angle of climb speed is represented by VX. This speed delivers the greatest gain of altitude in the shortest possible horizontal distance. VX increases with altitude and usually decreases with a reduction of weight. Best rate of climb speed is represented by VY. This speed delivers the greatest gain in altitude in the shortest time. VY decreases as weight decreases. VY also decreases as altitude increases. Would you like to learn these V speeds quickly? We've made a video that talks about a proven method to help you memorise information. You can watch it here now.